What's up everybody and welcome back to Last Day on Earth Survival. So I've been raided but I was an idiot and I forgot to take the C4 out of my chopper. So they actually stole two C4 from me plus another electronic circuit that I had in here. So I really need to move my recycler inside because I'm taking hits of this. I think I've lost three electronic circuits in total now from it. Which really sucks. But we have got a raid. I've raided Mad Dog before. I've definitely raided this base before. Okay, I'm back. And as I was saying, I have definitely raided Mad Dog before. This is a base I know. I th uh, don't think it's the one that gave me the snorkel mask. I have to wait and see, but I have 100% been to this base before. Okay. Nothing in there. Okay. Let's go for this door. Probably should have dropped off by C4, but oh well. A little bit late. Yeah, I've definitely raided this. I recognise it. Right. That looks like a stone floor there. Can we access this door? No. Um, yeah, I feel like it's all over this side, so we'll go straight through here. I think this is going to take us into another 3x3. Three three. Here we are. And then loot should be all in this room, if I'm remembering correctly. Here we are. And look, they have one stone wall. So let's see what's in their most protected chest. And uh, nothing that good. Alright, we'll just keep breaking in through here. We should hopefully also be getting another trait un skill unlocked pretty soon. There we go. 73%, 75%. So that's just stone in there. We'll break into here, see what's through the door. 82%. Look at that. So close to getting, I think, what would be our fourth or fifth skill here. And I really want to get the better base loot again. But I think that's the one that pretty much everybody wants, isn't it? Who wouldn't want the one that gives you better bases to loot? Okay. Right, okay. Killing these ones is going to pass over the 100% mark. Right. You're going to be the last one needed? Yeah, there we go. And these will probably get us up to... Did that toxic abomination? That gave us 10%. Wow. Okay. Alright. See what we got in here. Uh, oh, I got one of the C4 back. I got one of my C4 back. Yes. Was not expected to actually get the C4 back. Oh yeah. Let's see what trait we get. Come on, give us something good. Give us something good. 4% less noise. Still useful, I guess, but 4% is really not much. Uh, iron's always nice to have. Right, and now onto the chests in here. Right, we're not going to be able to open. <gasps> Got my other C4. Perfect. There we go. Got back everything we wanted, at least. Right, so we are actually going to be probably pretty close to another trait. Uh, wait, so these will give us 10% each. Okay, so we'll be about 50-60%. There we go. And two abominations do come in with the big one. So at 56 now, we could get us up to 76%. Kind of tempted to kill the ones that come in with him. Um, stash away our C4. <laughs> I can't believe we got that back. Oh, that's good. I honestly was not expecting to find it. I am curious about what's in this side. But I think it's probably just the things like the chopper and the ATV. Most likely. Right. What are we going to get from this one? 
Come on, be guns. Be guns. Uh, hey, you stole them from me. Um, guess I can take them like that. I'm going to tab out quickly and I'll check the image to see what I can actually get from recycling the cameras. Right, whereabouts are they? And it looks like there's been so much chat going on in Discord that I can't find it anymore. Okay. Right, so we could open two more. Come on. No, nothing good in there. So we've got this bottom one and this top one. Hang on. One, two. One, two. Let's get fully healed up. Uh, can't destroy the bean cans. Three, open that. Uh, take the red tickets, dispose of the bean cans. No, nope, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, that's where the guns are. Alright, we can probably do this. Ow. He's hitting quite hard now. 40 damage per. Nah, I'm not going to risk it. I'm out of here. Alright, I'll be back in a minute. Probably heading into the bunker, I believe. So I'll see you all in a sec. Alright, people. I'm back heading into the bunker because I've got to clear out the fourth floor for the Raiders task, unfortunately. I think the code is 30928. There we go. Right, first up, let's have a look, see if I've got any red tickets dotted around. And yes, I know I've got a ton of guns on me. It's because there's a lot of turrets on this floor. And they're rather mean and tend to shoot you if you go near them. Hey, right, so 15 red tickets. That's pretty good. And yay, let's just head down there, burn through all of our guns. Not too fussed about conserving them at the moment. And also we're going to be able to open the green and yellow crates straight away. Whew, pardon me. There's big yawn there. Right. Um, goodbye. Open this up. Give us a crowbar, I think. It's going to be a crowbar. Yes, it is. Hey, look at that. An engine part. Nice. And open that up. Right. Hello. Three, four, five. So, I have heard about a invincible spot on the fourth floor of the bunker. Now, look, another AK. Damn. That's nice. So, yeah, as I was saying, I've heard about an invincible spot on the fourth floor of the bunker where you can stand and nothing will try and hit you. So, I want to try this out. I'm going to use the crowbar to smack them. Right, and let's head down to the fourth floor. I've also got to kill the blind one, but I'm not going to activate hard mode until I've gotten enough red tickets. Or at least gotten five more. So that the blind one gets me to an even 30. Right, so yeah, we've got to go this way first up. Right, now, does normal mode give you much bunker skill percentage? Okay, so they give like half a percent each. Alright, uh, so that's a bit disappointing. Right, I'm just getting green tickets, okay. I know I should be using melee weapons here, but... Ah, uh, well. I'll be stingy on the free-to-play series. Uh, you can die. Oh. Also, how do you all feel about me possibly streaming my goings-on of the free-to-play series? Or would you prefer I carried on just streaming from this one? So it's up to everyone entirely. But I think I'd probably progress faster if I could stream just doing the kind of repetitive stuff of farming whilst talking to everyone in chat. And there we go. Also, shameless plug it, my Discord link should be in the description. Come and hang out in Discord. It's a rather cool place. We have people there. We talk. Sometimes sit in chat room and listening to horrible music because some people have really bad taste in music And kept putting on bad 50 cent songs. I'm not really sailing my discord to you am I? Come join discord. It's fun All right, let's gun this turret down. 
Unfortunately, I completely forgot to bring any food items with me. Which will suck. Hopefully I can get some from in here. Or, if I'm lucky, I'm getting the daily beans in my inbox. Let's have a look. Yeah, daily beans and water. Let's eat all of them up. Throw that in there. And then grab... No, I do not want to buy that. Nobody wants to buy that. There we go. And we'll drink the water. Perfect. Alright, onwards. So next up we've got the frozen room. Which is horrible. Not anywhere near as bad as how it is on hard mode though. It is horrible to do on hard mode. Ooh. So, hmm. You know, I'll wait, I'll try it again. I was told about the glitch that lets you shoot the shotgun really fast. If that is actually working, we'll be able to use that to destroy the blind one. I mean, it'll still take the same amount of guns, but we should be able to do it in like a fifth of the time. I really do hate these heavy turrets. They don't add anything to the game. All they do is just w make you waste your ranged guns, which sucks for two turret parts. They can't even give anything good like, I don't know, I'd say 10 turret parts from a heavy turret. Don't run at it. <sighs> we, we, we managed to escape it. One second. All right, I'm back. And as I was saying, I can't believe it. I managed to actually outrun the grenade. I've never done that before. That corner turret, the one I just broke before this one, always, well, quite often gets me with the grenade. Come on, you can die, hurry up. There we go. Right. No heat sensor things. Although, to be fair, we don't really need the heat sensors. And I've been tagged in Discord again. Soon you'll be at 10k subs. I doubt it. Hey, free copper bar. And batteries, potential for a copper bar. Not going to complain about that. That's not too shabby at all. Right, so here we've just got... Right, so let's try it. Oh my god, that's so cool. I love it. Right. If I can get that to work against the blind one, that'll be awesome. Or just the big one. Ooh. Do you think you can go and kill the big one in the infected forest using that? It's worth a try. I might try that as just a separate video. Really tempted. Hey, and a red ticket. Perfect. <laughs> back in a minute. Alright, and I'm back. Hopefully, yeah, I already came out once and then realised that I couldn't open my inventory when I was freezing to death. Okay, that's all I'm going to be able to take for now. Don't want to die there. I'm going to stash all of this on a dead body and then go back and get the rest, I think. So you, uh, you can take, you can take this stuff, a uh, stack of bandages and a red ticket, and and you can take that. Perfect. Right now, I should be able to get everything else without an issue. Take all. Perfect. I hate those stupid hanging meat sacks. They really, they annoy me. They annoy me so much. Right, what am I going to need for this next section of the bunker? Um, none of that really. Should be good with what I've got. But I want to try out... I really want to try out the new possibly invincible spot. Because if that works, that's going to be pretty awesome. There we go. And switch to this one. Perfect. Five turret parts from there, and five turret parts from there. That's all pretty good. Right, so we got some fro- oh no, we haven't got frozen stuff in the next room. Okay, but we have got an abomination. Now, I've been told this doesn't work against abominations. Can I- uh, Where is it? So you go- Go back here, get right behind this. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, and the abomination's hitting me, but none of the others are. So, my question is, can I do this against frenzied giants? Do you think it's possible? Because I kind of want to try it. Can I beat you up, please? There we go. Right. Right, am I able to run out that way? I am. Let's equip med kits. And let's try it with the frenzy giant. Hello, sir. Excuse me. Right. So I'm going to need to be very careful here. And let's hide behind this. Nope. Doesn't work against him. Uh, where's our Glock? There we go. And uh, let's just gun him down. Shoot him down in the prime of his life because we're evil. Well, in the prime of his death, he's a zombie. Which, to be fair, he's not inherently evil himself. He's just... I don't know, what are the zombies in this? Are they control controlled by some sort of parasite? I think it's more like a um, fungal bacteria. Just going by what we've seen, some of the concept arts. The, the um, zombies with spores all over them. And another can of beans. Right, let's get this turret up here. Let's not die to it. Right, but this turret is the one that quite often will give you a steel plate. Not all the time. Most of the time you can get a steel plate from it. Right. So is this what our turret at base currently looks like? Because I think our one counts as a heavy turret now, doesn't it? Does our own turret shoot grenades, do you think? Let's see what we're going to get. Come on, give us a steel plate. I'll be very happy if you do. And a copper bar. It's not quite the same, is it? No. You know, eat the beans, take the copper. Right, next up we've got a load of frozen zombies. So, let's... I want to try out this tactic again. This, um... That is nice. That is really nice. Ow. Ow. <laughs> oh, it's so satisfying to do. Right, now, here, you know what? Let's just... No! I do not want to fist fight a frenzy giant! Stupid shotgun breaking on me! <laughs> oh, that could have gone a bit better. Oh, just trying to fist fight a frenzy giant. Oh dear. Right, let's take that, eat the beans, and what are we getting from you? Green ticket. Right, now for the main interesting part of the entire floor, the two crates that are in there. The only bit that pretty much anyone cares about. And there we go. Right, so what have we still got on us? Yeah, we used a lot of guns on that floor. Gonna need to go through and check the dead zombies, see if we can actually find any red tickets on them, because I don't think I checked most of them, did I? I think I just shot them down and let them be. Right. Come on, are we gonna get any steel at all this bunker run? Really hoping that we do? No. Not a single bit of steel. It's fine. It's not fine. Right. So, any zombies in this room? Uh, we got a frenzy giant. No, that's not the frenzy giant. That is a toxic spitter with a green ticket. You know what? You can keep that. Already opened this. Yeah, that gave us beans. Right, so, yeah, I think the rest of the zombies are up in the... What is it? The west side? No, the east side of the bunker? Is it the east side, this section? Uh, take the red ticket crate. I really want a true friend dog. I can't believe I haven't gotten one yet. I've got so many female dogs. I want some male ones so I can have a chance at getting it. And no, I'm not going to buy dogs. That's a complete waste of money. I've had so many people telling me just to buy dogs for it all. If you want to send me money so I can buy dogs, go for it. Apart from that, I'm afraid it won't happen. Because university student, so I'm poor. 
How did you get freezing so quickly? Whatever. Alright, so that is entirety of level 4 cleared out. How many... We only got two red ticket crates in the entire floor. That is pretty awful. Are the red tickets in here? Yeah, that brings us up to 17. Ah, uh, so we are going to have to kill a bunch of the frenzy giants in normal mode before we go to the blind one. Alright, well, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you've all enjoyed, and I'll be seeing you next time. And what has happened to our gun? Okay, it's fixed now. He had a big cross on the middle of it. Alright, thanks for watching, people. Bye!